Hey guys, in this video we'll be talking about amino acid grouping and classification. Um, now, um, for those who don't know, um, amino acids are typically classified um, according, to, um, according to some of their chemical properties, um, which all depend on their, our, their side chain, or their R, R group, or R side chain. <clears throat> so today I'm just going to briefly um, give you guys an overview of um, amino acid grouping. Um, and kind of the um, the classifications and the different uh, the different groups that scientists typically put amino acids in. Now, the first kind of major grouping system is um, based on the polarity of the amino acid. Now, um, in this system, the amino acids are grouped depending on um, whether they're polar or nonpolar. So, the polar amino acids um, are histidine, arginine, and lysine aspartic acid, glutamic acid, asparagine, glutamine, serine, threonine, tyrosine, and cysteine. Um, so that's, I know that's a lot, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, amino acids to try to remember which are polar. Um, but an easy way to actually remember which are the polar ones are actually to look at which ones are nonpolar. Um, so we'll, we'll look at the nonpolar ones here. So the nonpolar amino acids are valine, isoleucine, Proline, methionine, alanine, leucine, tryptophan, phenylalanine, and glycine. Um, so, um, an easy way to remember which amino acids are nonpolar are by the by the mnemonic VIP MALT PH glycine. So VIP for valine, isoleucine, proline, MALT for methionine, alanine, leucine, tryptophan, PH for phenylalanine, and then glycine. Um, and then once you know uh, the nonpolar amino acids, it'll be much easier to remember which ones are polar. So um, in your mind, once you know, okay, VIP, malt, pH, glycine, uh, if you say if you hear like the amino acid histidine, you know that it's not in that mnemonic device. It has to be polar. So um, that's the best way to actually know the polar amino acids is to know the nonpolar amino acids. So again, I'm just going to go over that mnemonic device again. Um, VIP, um, VIP for valine, isoleucine, proline, MALT, M-A-L-T for methionine, alanine, leucine, tryptophan, PH for phenylalanine, and then glycine. VIP, MALT, PH, glycine. So uh, hopefully that'll help you guys remember uh, the amino acids that are nonpolar. Another, um, uh, several other grouping systems um, include whether the, the amino acids are acidic or basic. Now, for the acidic amino acids, it's very simple. Um, it's just the amino acids that have acid in their name. So aspartic acid and glutamic acid are acidic. So um, that's really easy, guys. Just, just know that uh, the acidic amino acids have acid in their name. For basic amino acids, it's um, histidine, arginine, and lysine. So H-A-L. Now that's, that's easy to remember as well. Um, how, just remember H-A-L, how. How is basic. Histidine, arginine, and lysine. How is basic. So that's a really easy way to remember which amino acids are basic. Histidine, arginine, and lysine. Now um, the, the rest of the uh, groups are, are, are somewhat like subcategorizations depending on um, exact um, specific um, uh, Chemical, uh, chemical groups in um, the R side chain of the amino acid. Now the first group I want to talk to you about is uh, the branch chain amino acids, branch, uh, branch chain amino acids. So the branch chain amino acids are, are all nonpolar um, and they have um, a branched structure uh, for their R group and these uh, amino acids are valine, isoleucine, and leucine. And that's an easy way to remember that is VIL, V-I-L. So again, valine, isoleucine, leucine, VIL, V-I-L. So that's the branch chain amino acids. Now for the aromatic amino acids, the amino acids with a benzene ring in their R group, um, these amino acids are phenylalanine, tyrosine, and tryptophan. Um, now you can remember by pH, tire, trip. pH, tire, trip, pH, tire, trip. Those are the aromatic amino acids. Um, phenylalanine, tyrosine, tryptophan. Or you can remember it is... Um, uh, you can remember by thinking of phenylalanine is aromatic, whereas the T's, the, T, the amino acids that start with T are, are 
or aromatic. But if you're going to remember it that way, you have to also remember that threonine starts with a T, and that is actually not aromatic. So um, just remember that if you're going to try to remember it that way. But probably the best way to remember it is just um, pH, tire, trip. And, and also just recognize that phenylalanine is, has a benzene ring. Tyrosine is just phenylalanine with a hydroxyl uh, group attached to it. And tryptophan is, uh, it has a benzene ring attached to like a five-member ring. Now the next group is the hydroxyl containing amino acids. Now these ones have hydroxyl group or an OH group in their R side chain. And these amino acids are serine, threonine, and tyrosine. Again, serine, threonine, tyrosine. Serine, threonine, and tyrosine. Now these ones, uh, these amino acids are really important um, because these ones are actually the ones that get phosphorylated um, um, on in, in a protein, and which controls the proteins, uh, which controls the proteins' activity. So just remember, guys, that um, serine, threonine, and tyrosine have hydroxyl groups or OH groups in their side chains, and these are the amino acids that actually get phosphorylated um, to to inhibit or activate um, protein activity. Um, and the last group I want to talk to you guys about is the sulfur-containing amino acids. Um, and there's only two of them. They're pretty easy to remember, um, methionine and cysteine. Um, now, methionine, um, methionine um, actually uh, donates its sulfhydro group to cysteine. So cysteine, uh, in essence, kind of uh, is derived from uh, methionine. So these two are, are, um, these two are um, kind of easy to remember. Um, but uh, just, just that you guys are aware, uh, the sulfur-containing amino acids are methionine and cysteine. So anyways, guys, I hope that helped. That was a brief overview of the of grouping and classification of amino acids.